G'day everybody and welcome to another YouTube video review. Today we're going to be having a look at the Boba Fett with Slave One. This was a um, New York Comic Con or here in Australia we call it a Fall Convention exclusive. And the TIE Fighter Pilot Pop Funko um, sort of ride. And they're both, as you can see there from the boxes, the 40th anniversary Star Wars. So similar to the line that came out, there was a Darth Vader in his TIE Fighter. And I believe there's another one in the 40th anniversary, which uh, I do have on pre-order, which is a Wedge Antilles in the Snowspeeder was really hoping for a, a Luke and an X-Wing, but uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, we might get one, who knows. But um, these are fantastic, these little guys. Um, if you're a Star Wars fan like myself, you're going you're gonna to love them. You're probably collecting every Star Wars pop known to man. But um, these are really great because it just takes it to the next level. So we'll have a look, quick look at the box here. you got the Boba Fett box. Um, quite nice there, all clear packaging. Just has Boba in a Slave 1. You got the look at the top there. I really like in the back there. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. You've got the Death Star background. Looks really nice. And you have the same for the uh, the TIE Fighter. And then Bob the Slave 1. And then on the back of the box. Just encouraging you to get some of the other figures there. And the TIE Fighter box. As you can see here. You got the Death Star in the background there. 40th anniversary sticker. Which is really quite nice. The top. And then spinning around the back, some of the other figures you can get there as well. Um, let's have a look, because these both are really, really, really fantastic little pickups. I'll start here with the TIE Fighter. Uh, as you can see, very similar to Darth. You've got him flying over the top of the uh, Death Star and with the clear plastic pegs, just giving him that sort of lift. So he's not actually attached to the base, or looking like he has to be stuck to it. Looks like he's flying over it. You've uh, got the detailing there through the, the fins. The wings through the back uh, obviously a bobblehead and what I really really think is impressive this time around is you can see the breathing tubes they are actually uh, connected into the pop so it's all one piece so you definitely wouldn't be able to uh, replace this head or uh, take the head off and replace it with someone else because it is actually stuck into the body which is really really nice and you've got the detail in there you can see the colouring on the chest plate, You've got the insignias on the helmet, even the little details in the back there. So really, really, really love that guy. And let's have a look at the Fall exclusive here as well. So the only thing I can say about this one that I'm a little bit disappointed is as you can see there, just his antenna, just bending a little bit. Probably have to take that with a little bit of a, uh, a hairdryer or a bit of warm water to see if I can get it to uh, to stand straight. but. Fantastic. So you can see the base here this time around. Just looks like he's on a landing pad. And uh, Slave One coming down. You've got the guns there at the back. And the drop plate in which hand gets walked up. To be taken as a carbonite plate off to Jabba. And you've got the hands there, the details with the insignia. I think if we... Uh, no Mandalorian. Oh, yep, no, there's a Mandalorian symbol. There on the shoulder, the dent in the helmet, which is famous, uh, and then around the back. But uh, really, really fantastic little figure. As you can see, you've got Star Wars on the front. Um, wonderful line. Really looking forward to the next movie coming out. But anyway, um, hope that's helped you out. If you're looking to buy these or pick them up, uh, hopefully that's uh, given you enough uh, of an overview to figure out if you, if you want to add them to your collection. But if you're probably a true Star Wars fan, they're probably already sitting on a shelf somewhere near you or in your room uh but anyway hang around i uh, got some other pops got a gonna do a hellboy uh overview got a few hellboy pops got a few others there that i'll just do a run through and what else have we got there we've got hulk that uh i picked up recently oh there's my fingers apologies and uh, a chrome batman which i'll have a look at too so anyway uh as usual anything in the room if you haven't seen but thanks for watching keep subscribing Thanks for uh, turning in on notifications to uh, find out when my next videos are coming out, as well as giving them uh, thumbs up and sharing the channel. Anyway, cheers!